In this video, I will show you how to make a composite photo using the Santa Flying Window Christmas Digital Backdrop. Using the Quick Selection tool, I'm going to select a subject from this photo and then hit Select and Mask to refine my selection. I'm going to speed up this part of the video so you can just quickly see how I refine my selection. When you're finished selecting your subject, be sure to output it to Selection. Now that I have my subject selected, I'm going to copy and then go to my backdrop and hit paste to paste my subject on top. Using the move tool, I can move my subject and then hit Ctrl or Command T and then right click to flip horizontally. Now I'll resize holding the shift key while I use a corner square to resize and then move my subject where I want him to be. I'm now going to come down here and add a contrast layer and boost the contrast all the way up. I'm then going to right click and create a clipping mask so that the contrast only applies to the subject. And now I'm going to click the little scale icon to make a color balance layer so I can try to create a better tone for our subject so that it can match the background a little bit better. I'm going to increase the blues a slight bit increase the cyans just a bit and I'm also going to create a clipping mask for this and I'm actually going to add just a touch more magenta. Now making sure I have my layer with my subject on it selected I'm going to start burning using my burn tool to just deepen his shadows. Now similarly, I'm going to switch to my dodge tool and add some light hugging around the edges of him. Typically in window light, you'll see light hugging the edges of your subject and darker shadows right in the center, so I'm trying to follow that. You can now right click and flatten your image to get your final result. Make sure you save as a JPEG file.